Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Zach and I'd like to welcome you to the first uh, PHP for Beginners tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be going over how to install a text editor as well as a web server. So let's get into it. Okay, so as far as text editors go, you have several choices. My personal favorite is Sublime Text and that's what I have here. So I like Sublime Text Editor because it has a lot of autocomplete options and that'll come in very handy when you're writing uh, long lines of code. Sublime is available for Windows and Mac and it might be available for Linux, yes it is. So you're pretty much covered with Sublime. Now as far as a web server goes, I use MAMP, M-A-M-P, and this has Apache and uh, MySQL and it supports PHP natively. So uh, go on over to mamp.info and you can go and hit the uh, downloads button and you can choose either Mac or Windows. I'm on a Mac so of course I have the Mac version. You can just download that and save it wherever and once that's installed you're going to want to open that up. Okay. So there's a few things that we need to change in here. So first, what you want to do is you want to go to uh, your desktop or wherever you want to save your PHP files, and you want to create a new folder where your files will be stored. So in my case, I have a folder here called Tutorial. So what we're going to do is in MAMP, we're going to hit Preferences. We're going to go to Web Server, and you hit this little uh, folder icon right here and you can go to, you can navigate to your, that's not it, sorry about that. What did I name it? Oh, I named it to uh, tutorial, here we go. So navigate to the folder you intend to use for your web files and hit select. And go ahead and press OK. Uh, actually, let's go back into preferences and make sure that the Apache port is set to 80 and the MySQL port is 3306. Press OK and then you can start server. It may ask you for a password. Okay, so now that that has started, now we can go over to one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one. And here we go. So our web server is up and running, and we also have a PHP MyAdmin area. There we go. Perfect. Thank you for checking out the first video in the PHP for Beginners tutorial series, and in the next video we will start writing our first bit of code.